Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the How to Break Skyrim series. When we last left off, well in the first three episodes actually, we have just been utterly smothering Riverwood in hundreds upon hundreds of random items that I have accrued across my entire journey. I'm so sorry I've not uploaded in about two to three weeks. That is mainly due to university. I've obviously gone back now after Christmas holiday. And I've been in, they've added another day to my time to so I'm in four days a week now. And I've just had a 2,000 word assignment over the past two weeks as like just homework along with all the other stuff I've got to do at home as well. So I've pretty much spent most of my last few weeks just doing university stuff and making stuff for uni. So yes, but I am back now. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get back to my one video a week scheme. Uh, mainly how to break Skyrim at the minute with the occasional other video like the Tetris one kind of like thrown in there. So let's begin this by doing what I usually do and dumping all of our stuff that we don't need into this here chest here. Now, the problem is I should not actually have all these alchemy ingredients on me. It'll take a bit longer to dump everything. Uh, as you can see, I have been playing this a fair bit in my spare time just to try and get enough items to actually make this video. Uh, so we do have loads of random just stuff. Hang on, some of that I actually do need to, as part of the uh, dropping thing charge. There are some leather braces, I believe, and an iron daggers, which we're not supposed to be put into here. Uh, some of these are quest items actually, so I can't actually get rid of some of these things. Uh, I should have done this off camera, this is wasting time. There we go, I think there were leather braces which are meant to be part of the uh, the stuff I'm dropping. And, yep, that should be good. Now, I want to see how much inventory space we're talking if I take all this. How much are we talking? 382, not actually... As much as I thought, but still pretty good. Obviously, give me a break, still looks top of his form. Uh, so over, I've just a bit back. over a full inventory of stuff. To be fair, I thought this was a lot more than I actually have. Uh, I assumed this would weigh a lot more than what it currently does. To be fair, I'm probably going to give him the cast iron pots to that, because they weigh quite a lot. So let's give him these cast iron pots. Uh, just anything pretty much iron related weighs quite a lot and these drums and uh, the hides, you can have these. Uh, to be fair, I will be getting this back from anywhere to drop. So I don't know why I'm actually properly picking and choosing here. Just need to get rid of enough so I can actually... Well, the problem is a lot of the items I have here are the same, so it will take longer to drop these. Uh, actually, I've got enough now, don't I? Alright, let's go. This will be a one drop session instead of usually the two or three um, inventories that I usually do, just because I have not had almost any time to play stuff. Obviously, I've got new games from Christmas that I've been trying to play in my spare time that I've not been at uni, and then I've got this, which I've been trying to force myself to also play. I've been playing about half an hour to an hour of this a day, that's why I've got Dwarven Armor, and I've actually made some progress in terms of campaign and stuff since last time. Uh, so yeah, I've just bought Knack 2, I've been playing a fair bit of Knack 2. Um, I've bought Prison Boss VR, I've been having quite a lot of fun in that. Starship Bridge Crew, that's been pretty good, I've nearly got the Platinum in that game. So yeah, it's been been pretty good. Uh, I think I got the Platinum on Plants vs Zombies on the PS Vita since last time. Uh, talked, got a Switch for Christmas, that's also been keeping quite a lot of my time. I've been playing quite a lot of Saints Row the Third and stuff like that on the Switch. A bit of Link's Awakening. Oh, I forgot how beautiful that looks just to see how many items are there. Uh, I think I said this time I wanted to drop a load of stuff in the water to see what would happen, but I also kind of would want to. I also said I think I'm going to paint this bit just so some stuff will spill into the water, but I also want to just get this bit. This bit looks quite clean at the minute. Uh, so what, let's drop those daggers. Uh, drop these amulets along with very other things here. Uh, hide boots, that is the problem actually, is these obviously are... I try to keep stuff in stacks of five just so it's easy to drop off. Okay, all my clothes and stuff there, just because that looks quite cool. Go a bit further this way. This will be a much shorter episode than usual, actually. Like, I'm kind of disappointed I don't really have as much stuff. I've, I've Since I've not had much time to play this, all the time I've been getting on this has been feeling like loads, because it's been like half an hour, which I'm like, I'm treasuring all the time I get to play stuff. So it feels really good when I come on this and just, oh, it's just, it's good, but I need more time to do stuff. But that 2,000 word assignment is handed in. I don't really have anything due in now for a week, so I should hopefully be able to get this video out and maybe one more video by next week. 
I've been feeling like playing Borderlands VR again, so I do want to get a video out on that. I am close to, I think I'm at the bit where you turn off the Iridium pumps towards the end of the game. Uh, so that could be a video in itself, just doing the Iridium pumps and stuff and maybe killing Saturn depending on how quick I do the Iridium pumps. I could do that whole thing in one video and then the video after that would obviously be Heroes Pass and the Warrior. The big, probably like two or three part finale, part one would be me doing Heroes Pass, part two would be the final me killing the Warrior for the first time in VR and stuff. Oh, that'd be good. A lot of food. Food is probably the best item for um, just taking up loads of space because it rolls and there's loads of it. You can carry loads of it. To be fair, using... Oops, I did not mean to eat that piece. Leg of goat, that's going to be quite big. Uh, Nord mead, that's quite small, but you can carry loads of it. Drop, 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 any drop. I did also get Skyrim for the Switch as well, which I've been trying to force myself not to play. Because obviously it's so tempting to play my favourite game portably. But uh, I, I can't let myself do that because then I will get out of this account. So I'm going to wait till this series is at least on episode like 7 or 8 before I properly start trying to play Skyrim and such. I'm mainly going to reserve that to, for very long trains or flights or car journeys. I'm going to France towards the end of the year and it'll be obviously like a big nearly day long car journey from where I live. So that will be fun. That is like one of the main reasons I wanted to get a Switch is just because I need some portable to play. I'll probably have to buy like a separate p p power bank and stuff like that just to keep it energized for most of the car journey. Drop a load of spuds, some sack of flowers and a steak, a few of those, some cheese wedges, and then boop. Ah, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Okay, yeah, I'm noticing some frames are lowering a bit now. Oh yeah, it's... I think I have just made an impact. I think it's probably because some stuff has probably fell into the water, to be fair. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff doing splash animations rolling into the water. Oh. But yeah, I'd say mm, the game I'm making in Unit, obviously I'm doing a gig for you for those of you who don't know, I'm doing a games development course at a university. Uh, and yeah, so far I've just started making my game, we've just been given the big project now to just start making the game. We've got 12 weeks or something to make the best game possible, he wants at least three stages on it. Uh, he wants animations, he wants like stuff like that, he wants some showing that I've tried to like text different things. And I've got my player character, really good, he looks quite cool. Other than that, there's just one blank big flat plane that he just walks on, doesn't anything to do. He just walks around, I can't, currently I'm trying to figure out how to get him to jump, he doesn't seem to want to jump. But yes, uh, so that is going really well so far, I guess. It's pretty fun. Like, I'm trying to do stuff. They are chucking in random bits. Like, we've just been given A-level maths, which it didn't say that remotely we were going to be doing that until a few weeks ago, where they were suddenly like, yeah, you're going to be doing math. It should only be a little bit harder than GCSE math. Like, it shouldn't be too difficult. And then that teacher is... We no longer have that teacher. We've been given a new math teacher. And suddenly it's gone to A-level and we're in a room with new people. And it's just... It makes zero sense, considering I'm just doing a game development course. Why would I need... A level math. I know there is a lot of math involved, but for the first year anyway, we had literally just there isn't really any calculations or anything going on. We're just like you need a little bit of speed, but not that's about it. You don't really do a calculation; you just kind of slide it up, like just see what works. But yeah, uh, I, I don't really understand why we're doing full-on A level university grade mathematics. <laughs> stuff I've not seen for like five years since I left high school, like trigonometry and vectors and algebra and just oh, all the goods. Okay, this is actually a lot more stuff than I thought, to be fair. One full inventory is more than I anticipated. Uh, those flowers I just picked, a couple baskets, uh, a few of those. Oh, that meat especially has just done a number on that place. Is that meat? <laughs> Looks like meat, yeah. Venison. There go, there's that. I'll do a bit over here, just because I definitely know it's going to roll off a bit. Oh yes, all these, I tried keeping these below 5, just so I could proper mash the button and just get all those just dropped. There we go. But after doing this bit, I will probably move to the main street um, of Riverwood after doing this part. Do, 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 do. Yes, this is, I believe, episode 4 of this series. Um, I've had a weird burst of subscribers since I stopped uploading. I don't know if that's because you guys don't like me not uploading. If you if you don't want me to upload, that is, you know, it's a, a thing. I guess I won't. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to keep uploading. 
But yeah, uh, I've had about 10 subscribers last month, which is quite high for this channel to be in the double digits, considering I only have 200 odd subscribers. But yeah, we've gone up about 10 subs, about 6 or 7 just since my last v v video a few weeks back, which is quite a weird spike. Usually I only get like into double digits when I upload like a few times a week. Usually that's how I have to start gaining subscribers faster is when I like consistently upload for a decent period of time. But yeah, we've had a weird spike of subscribers, so thank you to all the people that are subscribing. We are shot past the 200 mark now, we are well into the 200s, about 210 to 20, around that margin. We're sitting, we keep going up and down, I think I'm at 219, I think at the time of recording this video, it could be higher, it could be lower, depending on when you watch this. Uh, but yes, thank you so much, I'm actually, absolutely loving the amount of subscribers actually, it's really good. But yes, if you guys do like this, if you have, as I always say in these videos, I haven't had any recommendations yet. If there are any specific places or items you would like to see me drop, and places that I can drop, if you just want me to go into College of Winter Hold to the library there, obviously he constantly says I don't want any of these books being treated poorly. So if you guys want me to go to him and just collect as many books as I can and just dump a full inventory of books on on his lap, I just literally try and fill that room with books, which is obviously treating them about as poorly as a man can treat a book. Uh, and I will do that if you guys just want me to literally go into my house in Bree's home. I really don't want to do it there. I think that's the one place I will say right now is off limits just because that is the place I need to keep consistently entering to uh, get these items. So if you guys tell me to crash that, that place, uh, it will most likely not let me actually load into that house. And the, I will no longer have a place to store all these items in the series. will take a lot longer because I'm going to have to actually go and get a second house. <laughs> Uh, but yes, if there's any videos you do generally want to see any of the games I currently own, obviously add me on PlayStation if you want to see what geek games I own, or just check my trophy list out. Uh, I do own quite a wide variety of games. Some of them I don't own anymore, obviously, as I do not have all like 200 or 300 games that I've played uh, still on disc. There are some that I no longer actually have access to. Uh, but if you guys just message me on either PlayStation or a YouTube comment, it'll probably be better because my messages on PlayStation aren't always turned on because sometimes when I'm playing on my own, I like tap my like stats off and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys message me on a YouTube comment so far, I believe I have responded to every YouTube comment. If I haven't, then please leave the comment again, because I try my best to leave a, co a comment, or at least a like, on everyone's comment who comments on my videos, since I don't get that many. It's usually quite easy to, like, contain the comments and kind of, like, r r respond to people. Yeah, I think that's it for this general bit over here. I might just do one last dump right in the centre here. Just one final, just toss of just stuff. My dog's a bit restless, I think it wants to go in the yard, so I'll need to make this quicker. And there we go, that is it for this part of Riverwood, episode 5. We should be either just doing this bit here, so stuff pours into, the, obviously, the stream. But I should, hopefully, I want to spice things up a bit in the next video and kind of try going more into the main street area. So just going around here, um, probably going to try and connect it, so I'm probably going to try and go... God, the arms are taking so long to render it. Uh, I'm probably going to start here, try and cover this bridge, and then try and do the next episode, just a big patch around the entrance of this town. It'll obviously be about a week or two in between every um, video, just because I have loads of other games over to play other than Skyrim, and it, it's difficult collecting multiple full inventories of items. And it needs to be light enough, like, if, if I was going to collect just full inventories, I would literally just loot every piece of armor off people. But then obviously... That'd be quite harder to do because then my entire full inventory would just be like five or six steel chest pieces to pretty much max out how much I can carry. Um, way I'm looking so far, obviously we're called Give Me a Break. Uh, I'm trying to go for a nice mix of stamina, health, and magicka. Uh, I never usually put points into stamina because 100 is usually perfectly fine. Once you get your armor to a high level, you can usually make it weigh nothing anyway, so equip load. Uh, I usually don't go over encumbered too much in Skyrim. But yeah, um, health, I like putting points into health on any game. If you watch me play anything, I usually put more points in health than anything else. Magicka, just because I felt like doing some conjuration, so I've been using the Bound Swords quite a lot because they get used to soul gems really easily. And stuff like that, so that is really good as well. I forgot what I was going to put my next point into here. I think I was going to wait till this got to 60 and then put my next point into one-handed doing more damage. Yeah, but yes guys, that should be it. If you have any videos you would like to see me do on VR, obviously I've got Borderlands 2 and Skyrim VR, they're my main two that I like playing um, for videos anyway. But if you guys want to see me make a video on any of the other VR games that I add, whether it's Blood and Truth, uh, Star Trek Roku's a bit iffy, because unless I play with AI, you're going to hear a lot of r r r r randomers, and I'll have to have them um, muted and stuff, so I can kind of like talk to the chat as well. 
Um, but then, uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot of games. I've got Farpoint, I've got Bridge Crew, I've got... Uh, it probably quicker to list the games I don't have. I don't have... Um, I always forget the name of it. It's called Blacklist, not Blacklist. I've got Firewall Zero. Oh, it's the other one. There's a game where there's like army guys. I, c I can't actually remember. I don't know why I always forget the name of that game. Uh, but yeah, there aren't too many games I don't currently own. I obviously don't own Iron Man VR. I know it's a pre-order, but I, I'm most likely not going to get that for at least a while because it is very expensive for what looks like quite a short VR game from what I've heard and seen from different people who have like playtested it and stuff. Uh, but yes, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Anything you want to see me do on VR? You, you oh, God. Anything you want... God, this just looks so just fun to look at. <laughs> Jesus, we have destroyed Riverwood. It was such a nice time. But yeah, anything you want to see me do on VR, um, non-VR games as well, if you guys just want to see me play normal Borderlands 2, which I've not played in so long, um, Borderlands pre-sequel, Borderlands 3, or Borderlands 1 Remastered. I don't think I've ever done a video on Borderlands 1 Remastered, so I would gladly, if you guys want to see me do, I don't know, a Let's Play on that, or just farming something on that, the army, or Chrome Max or something. I don't actually think I've got a max level guy on PlayStation that. I have the Platinum, but I can't remember if I actually got the 6 9 on it. Um, but yeah, then let me know. Uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you all next video, but for now, peace. It'll probably be about a week or two to my next uh, video. But yeah, stay tuned to the channel for more PSVR and non-PSVR content in the future. Hopefully one a week. We shall see, but for now, peace. Thank you for watching.